My name is Amara Enya, and I serve as the founder and president of Global Black, a transnational organization working to build power for black people around the world. I also serve as chairwoman of the International Working Group for the Permanent Forum on People of African Descent, and as the manager for policy and research for the Movement for Black Lives. The theme for this session, Voices for Action Against Racism, is especially pertinent regarding a troubling phenomenon consisting of efforts to erase history and the teaching of history from the public sphere. Thank you, President, for the opportunity to provide critical input on the Voices for Action Against Racism theme and panel for this HRC session. Over the last couple of years, there's been a tremendous effort to curtail and even erase history by launching a culture war against critical race theory in schools. In the public discourse, critical race theory is being conflated with history. This intentional obfuscation has created a pathway for lawmakers to attempt to pass laws that would limit any and all lessons and materials that deal with race. In some states, lawmakers have advanced legislation prohibiting classroom instruction that could make students feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or any other form of psychological distress because of the individual's race, ethnicity, or biological sex. So far, 174 similar bills have been introduced across 38 states in the U.S. since the beginning of the year. These laws and the strategies used to advance them is an insidious agenda that can be replicated in any country context. This should be of grave concern around the world where history and data are critical to making the case for changes in structures and policies to address racism and its impacts. The best way to eliminate racism is by acknowledging the impact of racism on racialized people. We call on states to expose and oppose laws that curtail the ability to address racism and encourage countries to embrace history and data as evidence of a true commitment to build societies that are more just and equitable.